Welcome everyone. This is step 10, the last step in building a RAG application using LangChain.js. So in this step, um, we're just going to be adding uh, some sort of like short-term memory to our retriever so that we get, so that our re retriever and, and, and the process of asking questions to our LLM um, keep some things in memory so that on another question it has some context from the from the previous like uh, questions and responses um just to give you an example for example we can we can chat and we can say you know what is the capital of italy uh, we'll get a response let's say rome and then if we ask another question like uh, what is the population of the capital now if we don't have some kind of like memory the llm will probably don't know how to answer to this question because it has no idea it has completely forgot of the previous response so it will probably come up with some um, uh, follow-up question like which capital um, do you want to to find the population but if we set uh, uh, some kind of like short-term memory we can uh, let the um, the chain that we're building here remember the previous questions and responses so if we ask this question and let's say we get a response here uh, and we follow up with an with a uh, with the next question the llm we will not only get or, or include this text in in the in the uh, in the query but it will also include this text so uh given like this question it will probably take all this into uh, context and find uh, understand that when we're talking about the population of the capital we're probably talking about the capital of italy that we're interested in the previous question and it will respond with something you know like um, response rome has a population of i don't know uh, a number so that's basically what we're doing in this step um this is pretty simple um so I will comment these lines. We just we basically display the, the relevant documents. So we have, we, we ask a question. So this is the first time we ask a question. And then before um, coming up or, or asking a second question, instead of just using PDF QA chain invoke and, and just passing in a question, we're passing in um, a chat history property. So the chat history allows us to uh, to provide some extra context to the LLM. So uh, it's not only the question and the uh, relevant document that will, it will retrieve from the vector store, but there's some extra context here that it will help it um, kind of come up with a response that's more relevant to our, to our uh, conversation. So in this case, what we're including as, as a context for this second question or chat history is, the, uh, is an array of... Um, of text so basically we, we are uh, including the, the first question as part of the context as pa part of the chat history and the answer it gave us back so when we come up with uh, uh, with another question uh, it will also take into consideration these uh, these documents or this text this this uh, data and it will come up with uh, with some questions uh, sorry with some responses let, let me try this to see what our code will give us uh, now this is going to uh, respond to two questions the first is about how do we add a custom file type in PyCharm it found five relevant documents it's going to go through them and it says based on the provided context it, it appears that there is no additional information to add this topic okay so basically the problem is that I, I missed the first answer so let me run this uh, I forgot to also display the, the response to the, to the first question so we have our first question and then the chain uh, retrieves the relevant documents uh, converts them back to text gives them passes them to the LLM along with the prompt the special prompt that we created and then we get this response now the next question which is is there anything else to add here um, uh, we get uh, 
we have, along with the question, we send this context, this this past, well, this previous question and answer, and we get this response. It seems that we have covered all the necessary aspects in configuring PyCharm's editor settings and so forth. Um, and then it just comes up with some, you know, maybe uh, reminders or some extra information. So as you can see, um, given the, the context from the previous question and the previous response, it comes up with a uh, a question that's relevant and uh, a response that's relevant and contains some uh, some information that's useful to us. Now, in this case, it's probably not the best uh, the best example uh, to actually test this this memory, and we can of course follow up with with more questions and uh, include in the chat history more uh, responses, more uh, you know um, uh, questions. So if I were to ask another question, I could include the responses from the first question, the second question, and also the first and the second question too, uh, which is kind of like how we, we uh, create a, a conversation thread and we let the LLM have some kind of memory so that it knows what we're talking about when we're asking uh, more questions. The last example in this code is um, something that, let me comment this one. Basically, I will comment the first. It's uh, that given some questions, um, sorry, given the, some, some model that can also understand other languages uh, apart from English, we can, for, uh, for example, uh, ask a question in German. So I'm using Llama 3, which is capable of, um, it, it understands German, so it is capable of responding to German questions. So in this case, we're just asking the same question uh, in, in German, the first question, but now in German. Let's see what we get back. Um, so I have, I need to comment also this one. Let's see what we'll get back. Okay, uh, as you can see, it understood the question and it uh, came back with uh, with some results. We can go one step further and maybe um, add some additional uh, instructions to the prompt. So, for example, I can go in this prompt and say, answer the user's question in German. So given uh, uh, the context, which will be in English, this model will probably, um, uh, you know, come back with a response in German. So it will also translate the uh, the documentation or the, the documents that it finds and give us back a response in German. So feel free to play around and, and, and see, you know, the capabilities. Um, so this is the last step. Uh, for building a Langchain um, uh, RAG application. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I will be following up with some other, with, with more videos, with some extra steps. So I will probably be adding uh, more steps. I already have three extra steps with some optimizations and some other um, uh, features. For example, I'm replacing the vector store, the in-memory vector store with ChromaDB. So make sure to like, subscribe and keep an eye on these uh, uh, next videos if you want to see some more uh, experiments with this RAG application. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next videos.